Interfaith dialogue is an encounter that enables followers of different faiths to talk, cooperate, and live in the same place, even enabling them to find a point of agreement. From this, they are able to learn about, listen to, and understand the other groups on any one particular subject, be it shared or not, and all of this is carried out in an atmosphere of peace, freedom, and openness, in equality, tolerance, righteousness, sincerity, love, respect, and with good intentions, without trying to dictate anything by force. He is one of the most famous religious scholars, a forerunner in the making of opinions, and a great civilian leader. Gulen, who brings together the modern and the traditional, the religious and the scientific, as well as opposing groups in society, is one of the leading figures of societal and spiritual renewal. Fethullah Gulen has given thousands of sermons that have been recorded on audio or videotapes, and he has written more than 40 books, both in verse and prose, which have been translated from Turkish or Arabic and published in a variety of different world languages. ...projects which he has guided with the goal of raising younger generations that are loyal to their religious, national and cultural values, as well as to universal values, have been put into practice and supported by educational project volunteers and are greatly appreciated by all. The group of volunteers and enterprisers who have carried Gulen's ideas into reality have gone past the borders of Turkey, opening schools in areas that stretch from Europe to Africa and from the Far East to America, despite the ethnic, cultural, and religious differences. There are hundreds of primary, secondary, and high schools, as well as universities around the world. Within the movement of Education for Peace that he initiated, he played a role that allowed different cultures to intermingle and he led interfaith dialogue in Turkey. The fact that he based these interfaith dialogue activities on the Quran and the Sunnah, the basic sources of Islam, allowed for these activities to be embraced by a wide mass of people. Gulen has emphasized the Islamic approach that being human comes first. He has underlined that being human is more important than being Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Hindu, or Buddhist. Gulen reminds the people of our time of the understanding summarized by the great Sufi master Yunus Emri. We love the created because of the creator. Gulen says, love is the reason and essence of existence, and it is the strongest bond between human beings. Refusing to approach people with love, even though every human being is a work of divine art, will be unpleasant to God and those who love God. Gulen reminds us that we have a common ground with Christians and Jews in terms of holding some shared sacred values like belief in God, the prophets, and the hereafter. The following words of Gulen clearly point out that people cannot be blamed for being Jewish, Christian, or Buddhist, or any other religion. In my opinion, historical events should be considered in their own historical context. Every event should be evaluated with respect to the relevant circumstances. 
Gulen rejects the totalistic logic that many Muslims hold concerning Jewish people as the Quran makes neither a positive nor a negative generalization. Nevertheless, the following verses from the Quran are good examples of this. Not all of them are alike. Of the people of the book there is an upright party who recite God's revelations throughout the night while prostrating themselves. They believe in God and the last day. They enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong, and they hasten to do good deeds. These are of the righteous, and whatever good they do, they will not be denied it. God knows well those who guard against evil. In order to bring about his ideas that have been shaped by such verses, Gulen himself initiated the first steps for interfaith dialogue at the beginning of the 1990s, and he visited the leaders of the Greek, Armenian, Syrian Orthodox, Catholic Christian communities, and Jewish community, that is, all the minority groups in Turkey. Gulen also met with Pope John Paul II on February 9, 1998, and he said, As believing people, we should establish closer relations. We should cooperate against wars, common social conflicts, environmental pollution, hunger, ignorance, the increasing collapse and erosion of moral values, obscenity, racism, terrorism, and the violation of essential human rights. This and similar comments and studies of Betula Gulen have changed the rooted notions of Turkish Muslims concerning Jews, Christians, Hindu, and Buddhist. The mentality change has gradually showed itself, and the ideas of Gulen have come true. Gulen's philosophy of dialogue has inspired many Turkish Muslims living in Turkey and abroad, and they have opened interfaith dialogue institutions that in turn have organized several domestic and international activities. Our organization is also one of the institutions that have been inspired by Gulen's ideas. The Interfaith Ramadan Dinner is only one of the traditional activities that we organize. Welcome to everyone. Please enjoy the Dinner of Peace. <laughs>